How's it going guys? We are back with the third in the series of four javelin skills and abilities videos. Today's video will be based on the javelin interceptor which does seem to be overlooked a lot at present but will you be overlooking it after the video is another matter. If you enjoyed the video leave a like, subscribe and don't forget to share. Can't believe we are still in January and 2k subs is now within reach. You guys are awesome. On with the video. The Excalibur of Warframe, the Rogue of the Javelins. Interceptor is the smallest of all four suits. Its design means it fits perfectly with players who prefer the sneak in, destroy and get out quick tactics. Being agility based, the Interceptor is very deadly, but much like the Storm, cannot survive long on focused firepower from enemies. Interceptors rely on powerful blades and an interesting set of deadly abilities that make the class extremely self sufficient and ideal for a support role at the same time. There are three types of technique gear for this javelin, assault systems, strike systems and support systems which I will be coming to soon. Much like the ranger and the storm, the interceptor is also capable of wielding every weapon type except for heavy weapons which can exclusively only be used by the thick boy, Colossus. With its lightning agility and powerful abilities, the interceptor is able to overturn any situation. The saying always outnumbered but never outgunned has never been more true. Well, except in the case of the Interceptor, always outnumbered, never outbladed would probably be a more fitting description. The Interceptor, defensively the weakest of the four, makes up for its scant armour as a true terror, a nightmare, a reckoning on the battlefield. The Interceptor is all about fast movement, weaving in and out of fights. The playstyle has been likened to that of a traditional RPG rogue as players can move quickly with the ability attack with blades. The video you're watching in the background a stronghold with the interceptor clearly shows just how devastating this class can actually be in the right hands. The interceptor's melee ability double bladed daggers unlike the other javelins will be an ability that will be in use a lot. The melee ability here is a large part of the interceptor's playstyle and they will allow the interceptor to strike fast and hard at close range. As you can gather being roguelike, fast and agile, the interceptor is a close quarters combat javelin, so if that's your thing, this may very well be the suit for you. Right, so that's all the details out of the way, but you guys want to know the abilities and the skills, right? So let's dive right into that right now. So first up we have the melee ability Double Bladed Daggers, delivers a multi-hit flurry of slashes chain that can be continued indefinitely. Yes you heard that right, you can pretty much continue this melee attack indefinitely. It is likely weaker than its counterparts, however the fact that you can chain it indefinitely and if it does have a stagger effect, this could be absolutely godly. The dodge ability for Interceptor is a triple dash, be on the ground or in the air, very handy to get out of them tricky positions and turn the tables on your foes. Next, the Interceptor Javelin abilities and gear mods. Let's start with the Assault System. First up we have the Seeker Glaive, throws out a razor sharp projectile that seeks out the nearest target, much like a Seeker Grenade. Next we have the Acid Bomb, tosses a grenade which explodes splashing all nearby enemies with acid and this most likely will be a form of primer so it can actually combo off. Next up we have the Cryoglave, launches out a projectile that locks onto the nearby target and freezes it on impact, again this will enable another combo so it's pretty damn awesome. Next in the Assault System range we have the Cluster Mine, throws out a group of mines onto a targeted area which explodes on contact with an enemy. So this is pretty much something that you'd lay on the floor, a trap, so if you're trying to protect a certain territory and there's an entrance, you would place these on the floor so when the enemies come in, BOOM they go. And finally in the assault system we have Spark Dash. Dashes forward leaving behind a trail of electricity that damages enemies. Considering it's an agility based target and it pretty much moves at lightning speed, well this is the perfect skill for it. Next up we have the strike systems. We have Star Strike, charges an enemy with energy which explodes after a delay. The explosion deals increased damage if the target is destroyed before the full delay. So that's pretty cool, it has multiple uses and if you actually destroy the enemy before the full delay is actually encountered, then you get the ability to do more damage. Plasma Star, tosses a plasma empowered shuriken at a single target, effective at long range. So this next one I'm actually really looking forward to because it does sound pretty awesome. Nova Strike sends out a projection of the Interceptor 
which will attack enemies it comes in contact with. Pretty cool, right? The last time we saw something like this was in Halo, and that was only a projection that actually stood there as a decoy. Well, now it will actually attack enemies and do damage. Next up, we have Tempest Strike, a devastating single target attack that can stun smaller enemies. Note here it does say smaller enemies, so this will likely be ineffective in the stun category when it comes to bigger enemies and bosses. And finally we have Corrosive Spray. Sprays out a jet of corrosive acid that damages all enemies hit. As it's corrosive, I do expect this to be a damage over time. Next we move on to support systems. Target Beacon. This ability is absolutely amazing. It marks a target for increased damage which will switch to another enemy if the mark target is destroyed. So if I target an enemy right now and we destroy that enemy before the duration of that buff is finished, the next enemy that's standing next to it will receive that debuff, so we do increase damage to that enemy as well. And this will chain until the actual timer, the actual cooldown for this, is up. A really, really good ability here. Next we have the Rally Cry, removes status effects from all nearby allies, again extremely useful, it is a full on support class unlike the other two which provide shielding and domes, the interceptor here provides damage up and the ability to negate all status effects so it's pretty damn handy. The ultimate ability for interceptor is the assassin's blade, becomes supercharged carving its blades through enemies at high speed which you have seen in the video as we've been watching, but if you want to see it again, well here it is. As you can see, the Interceptor is the dream for those wishing to seek you. See, it's agile, fast, deadly, its skill set is vast and every skill complements the strengths of the Interceptor perfectly. It is very different to that of the Storm, which is more airborne, magic based, well, not magic based, it is tech based considering it is using the technology of the Anthem, and unlike the Ranger which is pretty much gun based with its, with its single target capabilities, the Interceptor is more melee CQC based, so for those looking to get up and personal, this does seem to be the job for you. However, you're all probably wondering right now, has the Interceptor done enough for me to warrant its place as my main frame? The answer sadly is maybe. I would like to try it out to see how the targeting system for the melee is going to be, Sadly, I wasn't invited to any of the early playthroughs, but on the 25th of Jan, I will be able to get my hands on this and give it a go. So this definitely will be, I will definitely be giving this a chance. I hope it's a good frame. It does sound very useful and very promising, but based on what I've just read here, unless I'm going for a support role, I don't see it replacing my top two currently, which is the Ranger and the Storm. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of the Interceptor. Has the Assault System, Strike System, Support System, the Ultimate Ability been enough to sway you away from the Storm? And has everyone reeling in excitement, but has the Interceptor done enough to tide you over, to win you over, to whet your appetite to want more? Leave a comment below and let me know. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, that's the video, and until next time, I'm Legend.